Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you one of the most uh, easy way to run fluxed text to image model on the MacBook. I will introduce you that basically you will only need to enter one command on your command line and you are able to generate the image. How can you do that? Let me introduce you one of the project called uh, Diffusion Kit. This is one of the GitHub open source project. They modified uh, the Fluxed original code into MacBook, specifically for MLX. So MLX is unique to Apple Silicon. It uh, utilizes Apple's computing power for its chips, so it's able to generate uh, the image faster than PyTorch. So let's uh, see how can you exactly do that. The only thing you need is a Python virtual environment. So if you are not sure how to get that, please refer to my previous video on installing Anaconda on your MacBook. Then you will need to do is to create your virtual environment. You give it a name and the name of your EMV and specify the Python version 3.10.12. So, so basically after that, so because I already created that, so I will skip it and then you can activate your environment. So for my case, I named it uh, Diffusion Kit EMV. All right, so, so right here, you're gonna need to do is uh, installation of the Diffusion Kit and uh, press enter. So after the installation, you are ready to run the Flux model. You should uh, have a Diffusion Kit dash CLI available. All right, we see that uh, we have our command and there just shows you all the options you need. So you would need a, a Flux model and you can specify the parameter you want. So let's uh, see, let's uh, do a quick uh, test. We have diffusion kit dash CLI and we have the prompt. Let's enter a simple cat holding a sign saying tech practice. And we specify what the name of the output will be. We call it image 01.png. And then we specify the model version. We will use the Flux Chanel version. And we specify the number of steps. So because it's a Chanel model, we only need a, as low as four steps. And after that, we are ready to start our process. So one thing I want to mention is that the default size is 512. So if you want to do a larger generation, you can should specify that right here. But uh, basically this is enough. So you are able to use that to start the generating. So let me do the GPU and uh, the RAM and uh, press enter. So the first time running it, you will need uh, to download uh, some model, so it may take some time. But uh, the second time you do it, it will be much faster than that. We, we see that uh, we already have a progressing bar to show the full step. And uh, for each step, it seems like uh, around uh, seven seconds. All right, we see that uh, on our terminal, it just shows that uh, the image has been saved. Let's uh, take a look at it. So it will be in your current uh, location. You type open and uh, blank and uh, dot. You should open your browser and we see that uh, there is an image saved. So let's uh, double click it. Wow, it looks uh, quite nice. What do you think? As I mentioned, so the, the default uh, image size is uh, 512. That's why it takes much faster. If you want to do another try, I want to specify a bigger resolution. You can do that and we add a width 1024 and the height 1024. The others stay the same and we can press enter to start it. 
we see that uh, in this case, because it's a larger image, it uh, takes longer time as expected. The speed is around uh, 21 seconds per iteration. So if you are using four steps time, times four with uh, 21, so that's about the estimated uh, time needed for the generating of the image. We see that the GPU is around 100%. The, the RAM is about 26 gigabytes. So if you take a look at the process, there is Python 3.10. So this is our terminal here, which says 26 gigabytes. So, so for my whole machine, it's about 36 gigabytes. We, we see that in the terminal, we have information printed out that it has been saved to our directory. And let's take a look at that. We see that there is a second image. So the first image, 0, 01, second 0, 02, we see that there is an obvious difference in the size, 380 versus 1.2 megabytes. So obviously this is bigger. So Let's take a look at uh, the information here. We see the dimension is 1024 by 1024. And we see that uh, the resolution looks quite uh, amazing. And uh, we compare it to the earlier version. We successfully installed uh, the Diffusion Kit library and uh, has been able to run the Chanel Flux model successfully. I encourage you to do some experiments so there's many, many options, many, many awesome prompts that you can try. So if you want to take a look at all the options, you just type and help. So it will print it out, all the information for you. There is all the different options. You specify the number of steps, the CFG number. There's all other options. You can specify the seed. So I think that can be helpful and handy. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you find my video helpful. Thank you for your support. See you next time. Goodbye.